NASA's Surveyor 7 was the last of the Surveyor missions, which were unmanned spacecraft sent to the Moon to gather data and images in preparation for the Apollo manned missions. Surveyor 7 was launched on January 7, 1968, aboard an Atlas Centaur rocket, and it landed on the Moon on January 10, 1968, in the lunar highlands near the crater Tycho. The main objective of Surveyor 7 was to obtain high-resolution images of the lunar surface, as well as to study the surface composition, texture, and mechanical properties. It was equipped with a television camera, a soil mechanics surface sampler, a surface alpha backscattering instrument, and a surface nuclear emulsion package. After landing on the moon, Surveyor 7 deployed its television camera and began transmitting images back to Earth. The camera was capable of taking high-resolution images of the lunar surface with a resolution of up to 10 centimeters per pixel. The images were used to map the surface and to study the geological features of the area. The soil mechanics surface sampler was designed to scoop up lunar soil and analyze its properties. It was able to dig to a depth of 18 centimeters and collect soil samples for analysis. The data collected from the surface sampler was used to study the mechanical properties of the lunar soil and to better understand the composition of the moon's surface. The surface alpha backscattering instrument was used to analyze the chemical composition of the lunar surface. It was able to detect the presence of elements such as iron, aluminum, magnesium, and silicon, which provided valuable information about the composition of the moon. The surface nuclear emulsion package was used to study the cosmic ray environment of the moon. It consisted of a stack of emulsion plates that were exposed to cosmic rays while on the lunar surface. The plates were later analyzed on Earth to determine the energy and direction of the cosmic rays. Surveyor 7 was also equipped with a radiation detector and a temperature sensor. The radiation detector measured the level of radiation on the lunar surface, while the temperature sensor measured the temperature of the surface and the environment. One of the most significant achievements of Surveyor 7 was the discovery of glass beads in the lunar soil. The beads were formed from molten rock that had been ejected from a volcanic eruption on the Moon. The discovery provided valuable insights into the geological history of the Moon. Another important discovery made by Surveyor 7 was the detection of a weak magnetic field on the lunar surface. The field was too weak to be detected by the Apollo astronauts, but the data collected by Surveyor 7 provided evidence of the field's existence. Surveyor 7 operated on the lunar surface for over three days, during which it transmitted thousands of images and collected valuable data about the Moon's surface and environment. The mission was a resounding success and provided valuable information for the Apollo manned missions. Surveyor 7 was the last of the Surveyor missions, and its success paved the way for the Apollo manned missions. The data collected by Surveyor 7 helped to select the landing sites for the Apollo missions and provided valuable insights into the geological history and composition of the Moon. In conclusion, NASA Surveyor 7 was a highly successful mission that provided valuable data and images of the Moon's surface and environment. The mission helped to prepare for the Apollo manned missions and provided valuable insights into the geological history and composition of the Moon. The discoveries made by Surveyor 7 continue to inform our understanding of the Moon and its place in the solar system. One of the challenges that Surveyor 7 faced was the harsh lunar environment. The spacecraft had to withstand extreme temperature variations, ranging from minus 150 degrees Celsius at night to over 100 degrees Celsius during the day. It also had to endure the constant bombardment of micrometeoroids and cosmic rays. However, the spacecraft was designed to operate in these conditions and performed admirably. The television camera on Surveyor 7 provided some of the most detailed images of the lunar surface ever obtained. The camera was able to capture images of small features, such as rocks and craters, that were not visible from Earth. The images were also used to study the topography of the lunar surface and to identify potential landing sites for the Apollo missions. The soil mechanics surface sampler was designed to study the mechanical properties of the lunar soil. The data collected by the sampler showed that the lunar soil was not homogeneous and varied in texture and composition. This information was used to design the lunar module landing gear and to ensure that the astronauts would be able to move around on the lunar surface. The surface alpha backscattering instrument provided valuable information about the chemical composition of the lunar surface. The data showed that the lunar soil was composed of a variety of elements, including iron, aluminum, magnesium, and silicon. This information helped scientists better understand the formation and evolution of the Moon. The surface nuclear emulsion package provided information about the cosmic ray environment on the lunar surface. The data collected by the package showed that the cosmic ray flux was higher on the Moon than on Earth. 
This information was used to design radiation shielding for the Apollo spacecraft. After Surveyor 7 had completed its mission, it was deliberately crashed into the lunar surface. The impact created a small crater and provided valuable data on the mechanical properties of the lunar soil. The impact also generated a plume of debris that was studied by the Apollo 12 astronauts. Surveyor 7 was not the first spacecraft to land on the moon, but it was one of the most successful. Its mission was to gather data and images to prepare for the Apollo manned missions, and it achieved that goal admirably. The data and images collected by Surveyor 7 continue to inform our understanding of the moon and its place in the solar system. In addition to its scientific achievements, Surveyor 7 also helped to demonstrate the feasibility of soft landing spacecraft on the moon. The spacecraft's successful landing and operation on the lunar surface paved the way for future missions, including the Apollo manned missions and the current robotic missions. Overall, NASA's Surveyor 7 was a remarkable achievement in the history of space exploration. The spacecraft provided valuable data and images of the lunar surface and helped to prepare for the Apollo manned missions. Its success was a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of the engineers and scientists who designed and operated the spacecraft. Surveyor 7 was part of a larger program of unmanned lunar missions known as the Surveyor Program. The program consisted of seven spacecraft, each with the goal of soft landing on the moon and conducting scientific experiments. The Surveyor Program was a crucial precursor to the manned Apollo missions, providing valuable data and experience in soft landing spacecraft on the lunar surface. The launch of Surveyor 7 was not without its problems. The spacecraft was originally scheduled to launch on January 25, 1968, but the launch was delayed due to technical issues. The launch finally took place on January 7, 1968, and the spacecraft arrived at the moon on January 10. Surveyor 7's landing site was located in the highlands region of the moon, near the crater Tycho. The site was selected for its interesting geology and potential for scientific discovery. The spacecraft's landing was successful, and it began conducting its scientific experiments soon after. One of the most significant achievements of Surveyor 7 was its ability to take measurements of the lunar soil. The spacecraft surface sampler, which was designed to dig into the lunar surface and collect soil samples, provided valuable data on the composition and texture of the soil. This data helped to inform the design of the Apollo lunar module and ensure that it would be able to land safely on the lunar surface. Another important experiment conducted by Surveyor 7 was the measurement of the temperature of the lunar surface. The spacecraft's thermal probe was able to measure the temperature of the soil at various depths, providing insight into the thermal properties of the lunar surface. This information was also used to inform the design of the Apollo lunar module and ensure that it would be able to withstand the extreme temperature variations on the Moon. Surveyor 7's television camera also provided some of the most iconic images of the Moon. The camera captured images of the lunar landscape, including craters, boulders, and other geological features. The images provided scientists with valuable information about the lunar surface and helped to identify potential landing sites for the Apollo missions. Surveyor 7 was not without its technical challenges. One of the spacecraft's legs failed to fully deploy after landing, which made it difficult for the spacecraft to collect soil samples. However, the team at NASA was able to adapt and still collect valuable data using the surface sampler. Surveyor 7's mission ended on February 21, 1968, after 14 days on the lunar surface. The spacecraft had successfully completed all of its scientific experiments and provided valuable data and images of the Moon. The mission was considered a great success and paved the way for future lunar missions. The data and images collected by Surveyor 7 continue to be studied by scientists today. The information has provided valuable insight into the geology, composition, and history of the Moon. The success of Surveyor 7 and the Surveyor program as a whole demonstrated the potential of unmanned missions to conduct scientific research and pave the way for future manned missions. Surveyor 7 was not the only spacecraft to land on the Moon during the 1960s and 1970s. However, its achievements were significant and helped to pave the way for the Apollo missions. The success of Surveyor 7 and the Surveyor program as a whole was a remarkable achievement in the history of space exploration and demonstrated the power of scientific research to advance our understanding of the universe.